You are now watching Doggy Diamonds TV. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also, you want to hit the bell so you can get all notifications of when I'm going live or when I upload new content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment on this channel. Peace. You want to ask me the top five on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we on Facebook really quick. I'm here at the office and um, I got this brother next to me. Um, Y'all might see him all through Facebook. This is brother Nori Muhammad right here. Uh, his books are on his website, norimuhammad.com. Before I say I do. That's right. And, and after. after I say I do. And the um, right. reason why I'm coming to Facebook with this, because I see a lot of uh, our women um, on Facebook, you know, saying you have bad relationships, poor relationships, and you kind of need some guidance on not relationships, but choosing the proper mate. Mm. So um, we have people that's actually putting out literature and going around the country, you know, giving you dialogue. And, and even if you don't follow it to the T, at least you got a point of reference and you might be able to get something from the book that you might have been doing wrong or you've been doing right all along. And now you have somebody else who agrees with you. So make that's sure right. you grab his books up. He's in Brooklyn with me right now. So... Um, this is a great thing. We got a. Uh, they ain't bring me no bean pies though, but I want a squash pie. I don't even eat bean pie. I want a squash. They ain't bring me no squash pie, so I'm mad about you. that. We yeah, yeah. So, and you're here to win. I'm here to uh, Thursday night. Thursday night. So we've got about eleven events that we'll be doing around uh, the city, and just look me up, uh, brother Nuri or Nuri Muhammad on social media. You'll be able to see all the events that we have uh, coming up. So that's what it is. I'm Doggy Diamonds. This is after the interview with Brother Nori Muhammad. And it's funny, um, I don't like to show favoritism, but I do. Him and Brother Wesley, I, I think I watched them more than others because of it was, the, it was something I told you, but the first time I saw you, something you said, it was to talk about us being stolen, mm. a stolen mm. people. Do you remember exactly what you said? I, I think I was... See, I, I've never posted anything myself okay, okay. on YouTube, so I don't know what they posted. But okay. I probably was trying to show how black people need to give up on trying to outdo white people in evil. Got you. And I was saying, you know, black people, we steal car radios, we steal cars, we steal clothes. and But you'll never be able to outsteal the white man. He stole you. <laughs> exactly. <Stop that. laughs> So yeah. since if you want to do something, you should want to be the best at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll never be able to outsteal them and outcrime them. So let us accept our own and be our righteous selves. Yeah, they stole us. We are stolen property. Gotcha. That's one of the big reasons why we're not going to ever see freedom, justice, and equality in the United States of America under them. Because this is a nation where you have stolen land. Built by stolen people. Wow. How will you have justice in a place like that? And with that, uh, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I can't I can't follow that up. But that's what that's what it is. You said what? Oh, that's so you really <laughs> they're, they're adamant about asking top, top, top uh, five rappers. I, number one, I'll I have to say Pac. Number two, Pac. <laughs> number three. Pot. <laughs> no, I like I like some other uh, okay. uh, artists too, but I really don't discriminate. It just depends on the spirit that you're in. I, I will say this: that when I listen to uh, a Ti or I listen to uh, a Rick Ross or or so, so, certain artists, you can hear the spirit of a soldier in them. I, I like I, I like music that that you can tell that you're dealing with somebody. At least it sounds like from their spirit that they won't compromise or bow down. They're willing to fight, kill, and die for whatever they love. And I hear that kind of spirit uh, come out of a T.I. And I heard it the most coming out of Tupac. And because of that, you know, my theme song is Ambitions of a Rider. Wow. And I think that may have been um, the Panther influence. Mm. And um, and Tupac, you know, he's a, definitely was a son of a panther. That's so, right. It's in his DNA. Yeah, it's in his DNA. Um, so if 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 you could, the rappers that are out here right now, because you know Rick Ross really spoke about a lot of drug selling, um, Ti, mm -hmm. trap music, and um, he he kind of evolved a little bit right now, and his record sales declined. 
believe yeah. it or not, because he doesn't talk about you know selling drugs anymore. Um, if you if you had a message for the artists out there that say, man, I don't want to talk about selling dope, I don't want to talk about bitches and hoes, but nobody's not gonna listen to me. Well, you you know once when you're an artist, you have to know that you didn't go to any school to learn wordplay and to learn how to flow the way you flow. So if you didn't go to any school and you don't have anybody that taught you, then what you have is a gift from God. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said once, he said, the best thing you can do with a gift is unpack it mm. and give it back to the one that gave it to you. So if you've been given the gift of wordplay, the gift of being a master lyricist, unpack your gift and give it back to the God they gave it to you. So you have to find a way to, to, to take your responsibility with your gift. A, a rapper, you know one of the titles of, of, of a rapper is an artist? Mm -hmm. Well question, if you're an artist, what's your paint? Mm. And what's your canvas? Mm. The paint is your lyrics and the canvas is the brains of the people that listen to your lyrics. What picture are you painting of the future on the minds of the people? Another Thing. When you look on social media, you'll see an a, a, a artist or a, a rapper, 2 million, 3 million, 10 million, 50 million followers. Well, the only person that has followers is a leader. Well, if you're a leader, where are you taking the people to? Did you know that a, a artist is also a teacher? The minister, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, greatest teacher we've ever seen. Do you know what he said about a hip hop artist? He said one good rap song is worth more than a thousand of my speeches. Mm. A rap song on the average is four minutes long. The minister's lectures is on the average two hours long. So if you got a thousand two hour lectures, that's 2000 hours. If four minute song can trump 2000 hours of the greatest teacher, how powerful are you of, of a, as a world shaper and a world changer if you're in hip hop? Do you know, do you know if you don't believe you, how'd you learn your ABCs? Did you learn it with a song? Yes. That lets you know that the best method of teaching is through music. So I would encourage these brothers, know this, you are a leader, you are a teacher, and you are an artist painting the pictures on the canvas of the brains of the people of what the future world is gonna look like. Unpack that gift and give it back to the one that gave it to you. Music can either be a blessing or it can be a curse, depending on how you use it.